Mosquitoes suck. These tiny flying insects are not only itchy and annoying, but they also pose a serious threat to our health. They can carry dangerous pathogens and inject them directly into our bloodstream. Their aquatic, air-breathing larvae thrive in stagnant puddles and drainage ditches, the kind often found in your yards. These environments often lack natural predators, creating the perfect breeding grounds for mosquitoes. Meet the unsung heroes, mosquito fish. These unassuming fish are the primary consumers of aquatic mosquito larvae. Native to the eastern United States, including Louisiana, they reproduce rapidly and thrive in almost every habitat imaginable. Their love for devouring mosquito larvae has made them a crucial biocontrol tool in mosquito control management efforts. However, mosquito fish may be reaching their limits of survival in rural parishes of Louisiana. When residential wastewater discharge contaminates drainage ditches, fish disappear and mosquitoes thrive. Without these fish, mosquito management becomes an uphill battle. To tackle this challenge head on, a team collaborating with the St. Tammany Parish Mosquito Abatement Program is diving into these ditches. Led by Dr. Emily Kane at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette and Dr. Nigel D'Souza at Gonzaga University, they are determined to uncover how sewage runoff impacts mosquito fish's ability to feed on mosquito larvae. Although mosquito fish survive in moderately polluted sites, sublethal toxins, clogged respiratory structures, limited sensory detection, or behavioral aversions could further limit a fish's ability to capture mosquitoes. If so, then survival of mosquito larvae in even moderately contaminated sites could be higher than expected. Their study involves examining the fish's body condition across different sites, conducting toxicity tests to determine survival ability, and measuring predation rates. The goal? To determine if introducing mosquito fish can combat mosquito infestations in contaminated areas. The advantages are clear. Mosquito fish offer a natural, long-term solution without resorting to invasive species or insecticides. The results developed here could have global implications. Mosquito-borne diseases know no boundaries, and these local insights might give us clues for understanding the complex relationship between human development and environmental protection worldwide. So as we dive into the depths of research and community engagement, remember, even in the face of buzzing challenges, government, science, and nature can team up to make a difference. Because when it comes to mosquitoes, well, they might just meet their match.